Hello, my dear. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved one. How are you today? So I don't need to explain anything to you. Um, you've, done, you've done this enough. Just, I just always remind people, don't forget this is not an exact science. I have to stretch it a little bit. Um, we try not to do it too much. I try not to make it work. It is what it is. So we just communicate the best way we can. So we're going to talk to Debbie. Debbie's tap, tap, tapping on my head. She's taking her finger. So you should, not ah, sorry, got an itch. Gets, when they get too close, my head itches. You probably heard me say that. Um, it's the right side of my head, kind of towards the back. It doesn't have to be that exact spot. But you might feel a little something. You might feel something wiggle your hair there, even if it's even if she doesn't do it hard enough to where you can actually feel the tapping on on your head. You might just feel your hair wiggle a little bit there, or it might feel hot if she does it hard enough. It could feel like a pin sticking you there. They do that to me sometimes. They go, "Hey, that hurts." Sometimes you have to let them know if it hurts, or they're just doing it because they're trying so hard to get your attention. So make sure when she does that, you validate her, acknowledge her, tell her you love her. And when you feel that, pay attention to exactly what is going on around you at that moment. What the TV is saying, radio, maybe somebody sitting next to you, um, what's in front of your eyes, maybe a couple words are in front of your eyes. Pay, pay attention to what happens, what's going on around you when you feel that. And she says, I'm just trying to let you know I'm there. You've been asking about me. You've been thinking about me. I can see you. I can feel you. So you know they can see and hear you. She, she, can, she feels your thoughts towards her, like the love that you have towards her. That's an energy. Energy, you can't hold energy in. Energy, you know, I can feel people's energy clear in another country. Uh, energy doesn't have walls. So she can feel those feelings of love for her. Talk to her. You said something about, um, can't replace a friend like her. You don't really have to. She's sitting there going like this. Now, I don't know if this is something she did or she fiddled with her fingers a lot, but it's like she's waiting. She's waiting for you to talk to her. She's waiting. She's waiting for you to ask her questions. And now she's showing, ooh, I don't know how this is gonna work. She's showing you like asking her questions and she's like tearing up little pieces of paper. Do I have a piece of paper that little? Nah. I thought I just had something kind of like that. But it's almost like a, a lot smaller than this. But it's ripped. It's like she took a piece of paper and she ripped a little piece up. She wrote something on it. I just see one word. I can't quite see what the word is. Well, W-E-L-L. -L, wellness? On this one, she's writing wellness, W-E-L-L-N-E-S-S. -S. She's wanting you to take care of yourself, but then she takes, look, and, it's, and it's all rough around the edges, and she throws it on the floor. She's going to throw it on the floor around you. So it may not be that exact piece of paper, but you're going to start finding little pieces of paper. Some of them may have words on it. Maybe somebody typed up something and they ripped it up instead of putting it through a shredder or something. And you might, if you just see a little scrap piece of paper, pick it up and see what word is on it. This, this is going to be interesting. Um, like one time, I uh, walked through my dining room probably 10 times, 10, 12 times that day. 
And all of a sudden, I walk, and nobody else was home. I walk through there, and there's an empty candy wrapper. It was a Valentine candy wrapper. And on the back of it, it said, um, love or love you or something like that. I've got it on my kitchen counter. I saved it. Well, where'd it come from? It's, it's going to be something like that. So pay attention to little ripped up pieces of paper. Could be a big ripped up piece of paper. As long as it looks like it's kind of got some rip on it. She said yes. So she's going to send you little notes that way. It may take a while. It may be right away. I have no clue. She says we can still be friends in different areas. I don't know if she means different physical areas or different areas that in a different way. Well, you can still have a relationship with them. It's just different, but I don't think that's what she was saying about the different areas. She's talking about spitting. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what she's doing. It's, you know, some people have a gap in their front teeth, which I used to, but I bought teeth. <laughs> some people have a gap in their front teeth, and they could, like, put liquid in their mouth, and they can shoot it out that gap, and it's just like a, it's like a squirt gun, just a big stream. I don't know if this is something she did something you did, something somebody around you just did, or you're going to see this. I never, unless, sorry, new glasses are kind of bothering my nose. Um, you'll, so just keep it in mind because you'll remember it later, see it later, or somebody else will validate it for you later. But it's that, it's getting that string between your teeth. And she's laughing and slapping her knee. She says, you always made her feel better about herself, her self-image. She's talking about maybe she wasn't as the prettiest person in the world. I wouldn't want to be. She wasn't maybe the thinnest person in the world. I wouldn't want to be either. She had a little bit of, I don't, wanna, I don't know if I want to call it low self-esteem, about her physical side. And you always made her feel like she was worthy. Worthy of being who she is. Now she says who she was. She corrected me. But she still is. And, you know, I don't even know how to explain it. We're still the same, only lighter and brighter and not all the heavy crap. And we don't have the heavy body to confine us. We're still the same. says you've been running around cleaning stuff. I have been. I don't think she's talking to me. I have been doing cleaning that I haven't done in 10 years. Um, she says you've been running around cleaning stuff. She's showing you scurrying around, scurrying around, like in the house, like doing this and doing that. She's, she wants you to slow down and enjoy the ride. Enjoy what life has to offer. You're missing some of the little things in life. The little things. Did somebody else tell you this? Something like this? Or was that another, somebody else's reading? She's, she's showing you sitting and your eyes are looking down at who knows what? And uh, 
all these things are happening around you and they're good things they're good things they're little things we ignore them even even like just a little bird i don't know where my birds are at this morning you know sitting out there and chirping we miss that it's she's talking about those types of little things all these little beautiful tiny awesome bright little things that we take for granted and you've got your eyes down and you're missing them she wants you she wants you to be more aware of the little i want to say cute she says that's good um the little things that you should be grateful for that just breathing we take that for granted that's not one of the little things so it's kind of a biggie Says, <laughs> it's crowded. It's crowded here. <laughs> She's talking about all the people that you've called in <laughs> to come that you wanted to hear from. She, she's showing like there's a whole bunch of people and they're not social distancing. <laughs> and she said it's crowded here. And there's more. There's more. There's a grandma. So she back there. It's what I believe is an uncle or feels like an uncle. It, it doesn't, when, when I say grandma and uncle, they don't always have to be blood related. It's that feeling. It's that relationship. It's a, uh, but he's older. He's older and he almost looks like, oh, there's, there's one. I don't know if that's the same one. Hang on. was the guys that I just saw on TV last night. Oh, it's a different, it's not Amish, um, Jewish, uh, Jewish off branch of, oh, he, I don't, ooh, I don't want to say because I'm, I'm not getting, they have black hats on, black coats on, their, their sideburns are big. Their hair is kind of long and hanging out under this. It's like a top hat, kind of. Um, it could be Jewish. I, that doesn't. It's some kind of. They just shut down all the churches in New York. I think it's what it was. And this guy is showing up. He looks just like one of them. Is it New York? I just saw it on the news. So I'm probably not getting the right religion, but if, if you can figure out what that was, that, what they just shut down those churches, the governor, whoever, the mayor, governor, I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to make a big deal out of that. Um, he looks exactly like one of those. So maybe he's just saying, he's showing he was that religion, but he's got the darker hair and the, he might just be uh, showing me that image so I, I can tell you that he was that religion and that will tell you who uh, anyway he's there uh, just showing himself he had his glasses are bothering me and Debbie says it's still crowded because there is a bunch more the ones that have been here the ones that haven't they're all just kind of hanging around watching watching Observing. You have quite a team up there. So when you need something, Debbie's going like this to him. She's telling them when you need something, they will step forward. See, I've told, I, know, I know I've told you before, you have to ask. You have to ask. So ask for your team. You don't even have to know exactly who's there. You don't need to know their name or all of that. Just say, ask. I get up in the morning and go, hey, I want my team. That includes my whole list from God, Jesus, on down to my departed loved ones. That's my team. And Archangel Michael's at my back.
And Debbie turns around and looks at him and she starts applauding. She's applauding them. They all feel like you are blessed. You don't have to have a mansion to be blessed. You have a roof over your head. You have loved ones. Um, you're a good person. You're blessed. You got food in your fridge. You're blessed. But they say you're really blessed. Don't take it for granted. Okay, so now, she, <laughs> now she's got one of those big suckers, those big round suckers on a stick, and they're all they're kind of in a swirl, and it's all different kinds of colors, and she's licking this. So either this is a memory for you guys, and she's validating it's her, or you've recently had one of these, or it may not be the exact sucker because a lot of times they'll exaggerate it. To, to make sure that I see what they want me to see. So it could be that you guys just had a sucker or you've got a sucker laying in front of you or one of the kids just, you just gave them a sucker. So anyway, she's, she's acknowledging that. She says it's pretty damn good. Did you or her have a problem with one of your toes or your feet? Um, she's showing a right foot. doesn't have to be a right foot. And like the big toe is kind of like the foot is here and the big toe is kind of like this. Or and it looks a little crooked or maybe somebody broke their big toe or maybe somebody had cramps in their big toe. You know how that makes it, everything turn in all yucky ways. I could have arthritis in their foot. You recently stubbed your big toe. Don't know exactly. She's not saying. I would when they show pictures. I wish they'd tell me why they're showing it. But it's for you to know, not me, none of my business. <laughs> now she's laughing hysterically and she's pointing at the group out there, and some of them you've already talked to, um, and she, she's laughing and she says. If each and every one of us leaves you a sign or comes and lets you know that we're there, your house is going to be rattling and banging and clanking. And <laughs> she says you'll never get any rest. There'll be something going on all the time. <laughs> she says so they'll stand back. They'll just drop in occasionally, let you know, hey, I'm here. Love you. See you later. <laughs> She's getting great humor out of this. She thinks it's hysterical. But you are deeply loved by many, many that have gone before you. So feel safe and secure in that. And if you ever get in a bind, just call on them. And if you don't know which one to call on, and I don't know if I probably told you this before, if Uncle Joe didn't have a pot to piss in, don't call on him for financial help. Um, call on the one that would be the strongest in the area that you need. And you have to allow it. So, and if you don't, can't think of a certain departed loved one that would be good in some, whatever it is you're needing help with, then just say, hey, bring me the best one. And ask them for help. Ask nicely and let it go. And then just and you have to wait for a divine timing, and I hate that word. It means be patient. That's not good in my house. <laughs> I'm not patient. Okay, I don't know what she's doing. Um, she's done an object. I don't know what it is. And she says twist it, and she's twisting it counterclockwise. It's almost like a like a huge knob, like she's got her whole hand over it. Like I said, sometimes they exaggerate, or like exaggerate, so I'll see what they're, 
pay attention to exactly what they want me to see. I'm like it's like twisting the top off of a freaking mason jar or something. It's it's but it looks more like a knob and she says twisted and then she says twister. I don't know if you guys ever played the game twister. That's where I thought she was going with it, but she's got her hand on this thing. So I don't know where we're going with that. Or 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 maybe you just struggled to open a spaghetti jar or something. I don't know. I ask them to usually throw in two or three things that you can validate that you know for sure it's them. I love what you've done to your hair. Anything that you used to compliment her on her hair or help her with her hair or give her advice on her hair. She says she never really gave a shit about what my hair looked like. She loved me for me. I could be me. You let me be me. That is a big plus in this world. So let, <clears throat> let me be me. Let people be who they are. Instead of, oh, good grief. She, She's showing like cramming a steel, big steel rod down somebody's throat, like some people do to others. You have to be this way. You have to do it this way. She said, you don't do that. Lay back. Relax. Let it flow. Don't force the issue. I don't know which issue she's talking about. Let it be how it's supposed to be, and it will all work out in the end. She's going like this. It will all work out in the end. And it took me a long time to learn that. And it's tough to sit back and watch. I know that. That was my words. All right, she's asking me to ding my little. I don't know if you're the one I did this they asked me to do this for the other day or if it was somebody else. I do so many readings. I can't remember who's who. I can't remember what I ate five minutes ago. That's a little Tibetan. I don't know how it comes across over there on the other. Sometimes the noises don't come through so well. Kind of blank out. I don't know why. Wish I had a different way to record this stuff. Anyway. He says, turn on some meditation music that has Tibetan singing bowls, Tibetan bells. We have another one back here. This is my medium friend. Um, this type of a noise. I don't know if you can, I don't know how it comes across. But you can go to YouTube and Put it on there and it'll play for nine hours. There's some nine hours, eight hours, two hours, three hours. I used to do the chimes, but lately they've been stressing this type of a tone. It's got something to do with the chakras and I don't know if you know about chakras. It just kind of does something goes Okay, she told me to look at your aura around around your head. It looks dark. Not that there's anything wrong. You've got too much too much thought in there. Too much too much heavy thought, I should say. You've got heavy, heavy stuff going on. You need to let some of that flow out. If don't hold it in. Let it flow out. She's trying to whisper. Now she's in my right ear because Bob's always on my left. So she's in my right ear. So it could be your right. If you hear it in these ears, it'll be one ear. If you hear it with your telepathic ears, you'll hear it. But she's she's trying to call you Deary. D-E-A-R-I-E. Deary. So if you hear it in these ears, it'll be one ear and you might hear muttering. You might hear whispering. You might hear the D if you don't hear the whole word. 
um, if she gets close enough, like when Bob gets close to this ear, which you haven't done for a while, my ear will turn bright red and burn like it's on fire because that's his energy. His, his energy is so strong, though. He's being smart. Um, could feel like a bug's crawling goosebumps. I just don't know how you will receive the energy because everybody receives it different. Everybody feels things different. Hat on the head. I don't know why she's saying hat, H-A-T, on the head. Hat on the head. Did you just have a hat on? Did you just put a hat on some kid's head? Kind of warm for that. Um, I don't know where you live, but I'm in Kansas, and it's beautiful today. Hat on the head. Don't know what she means. Keep it in mind. Don't forget to turn the dial. And she's showing, actually turning a dial, and it goes to off. I feel more like it's turned the TV off once in a while. Which I rarely watch TV during the day, except for recently with all the stuff going on in the world. I've watched it a lot more, but I bet she's... She's showing turning a dot. It's not the same thing that she had down here turning counterclockwise, but she's got an actual dial, and it's upright. She's showing in that I see the word OFF. Turn it off. Don't know which dial she means. I feel like it's TV. Turn it off once in a while. Turn on the music. Breathe. She says breathe. I actually have a note that says breathe on my computer because we forget to breathe. Actually, we have our automatic breathing, but then there's meditation breathing. You don't have to go um. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And do that like three or four times in a row, real slow. And she says you should hear or feel her doing it with you, next to you. I don't know if you're going to feel the little... Like if you do this, like a little whisk, not, not like the whole side, like if you were outside and the wind blew, that's different. It would be just like a little whisk. Or if you can actually hear her breath. She might do turn it off, turn on the music, and breathe. says, okay, you have a list of instructions. And she's going, she's got a paper and pen. She's going, write shit down. Write shit down. She's being kind of serious today. She's not saying what she wants you to write down, but evidently there's some thoughts or something in your head, or maybe she says, write shit down. She's got a pen. So if this goes along with turning the TV off and turning the music on, turn the TV off, turn Tibetan bell type music on, get paper and pen and write shit down that comes in your head. Let it flow. Practice it. Now all of a sudden I'm feeling like I need to tap my fingernail on my coffee cup. So I don't know if this is if she had a nervous habit that she tapped things or she tapped the coffee cup or you do annoying little I think that's annoying. But for some reason I started doing it. She says, I love you. You were good to me. And you still are because you think of me with loving thoughts, which helps anybody's vibration, whether it's here or there, thinking of them with 
loving thoughts still helps their vibration. We have a lot of bad things and we need to raise that vibration. He says it will all be okay. Just trust in the Lord. And if the word Lord bothers you, I always say creator. You can call him Jim. I don't care what you call him. There's a higher power up there. So if the word Lord bothers you, call him whatever you want. It, whatever you want. There is no male, female in it. Call it whatever you want. There is a higher power, higher than us. She says, trust in it. Okay, with that, she's leaving with the smell of wildflowers. Like if you were walking through a field and there's all different kinds of wildflowers, that's the smell I'm getting as she's leaving. And it's almost like it's wisping all around her. Kind of like aroma essence just kind of swirling. Anyway, she's waiting backwards as she's leaving. She's almost like floating out. No, she's not a ghost. She's kind of just, she's happy, she's good, she's light, she's bright. Wanting to be very helpful. Wanting to go above and beyond to help you. And pretty much that whole team out there is. Call on them. Just don't push it. That's the worst thing you can do. Ask. Let it go to the universe, your team, whoever, and then sit back and wait. Okay, much love to you, my dear. See you later. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. See ya.